Now, examples of groups of plants that we learned in science in grades five and six. Now, uh, the plants have been divided into four groups. We have trees, grasses, shrubs, as well as herbs. Eh? Now, trees, these ones are, uh, they are higher plants. They have a uh, true stems, while shrubs, herbs, and uh, grasses, they don't have true stems, or they do not have stems, really. Now, um, with the trees, we have examples like coconut, thyme, and acacia. Uh, grasses, we have uh, napier grass as an example, star grass, couch grass. But not every plant that is called a grass is a grass. Shrubs, we have uh, cactus, they tend to, to be bushy. We have bougainvillea, jasmine, plants. Herbs, they tend to have uh, medicinal properties or medicinal qualities. Eh? We have coriander, used as food. Sunflower, used to manufacture cooking oil. And we have rosemary, used as food. You can use it in tea and uh, other uh, things at home as well. So let's, uh, let's just have a line on how to remember examples of groups of plants. Shall start like this. Are we ready? Yes. Are we ready? Yes. Okay, let us go. One, two, three, let's go. Listen. Coconut when I kiss ya, these are things. Coconut when I kiss ya, these are things. Nebula grass, star grass, couch grass, and cactus, bougainvillea, jasmine plant. These are shrubs. Goyanda, sunflower. Rosemary, rosemary, herbs. Are we ready? Yes. Okay, let's start. Masauti. Oh, Masauti. Oh, these are trees. Come, come, let me make sure. These are trees. Let me grass, 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 these are shrubs. I am not some flower. Rosemary. Rosemary has. Right? Subscribe.